Hi, my name is Matt Albright with the Lincoln Electric Company, and we're going to demonstrate how to set up a weld score profile. Today we're using a PowerFeed 25M suitcase style feeder and a PowerWave S350 power supply. WeldScore is an embedded software tool in the power supply that allows you to train a profile and compare other welds made to that profile, giving you a score and indicating whether or not the weld is close to or different than what you thought it should be. So in order to start, we need to set up a couple configuration settings through PowerWave Manager, then we'll train the profile and demonstrate how WeldScore works. So through PowerWave Manager, I'm going to go into my configuration tab and verify that I'm selecting weld profiles based on a user interface memory. Once that's selected, I go down to my training tab, select training, and start the training process. Once I start training, I'm going to make two to four welds depending on the process and the variation of that joint, and then I'm going to save that profile. So I'm going to start training and go make my welds. Now that I've recorded my welds, I'm going to look at the profiles and verify that all the information in them is consistent with what I want to save as a weld score profile. So I'm going to review each weld to verify that voltage and amperage levels are consistent and accurate throughout the weld. Now that I've reviewed the data, I'm going to apply the settings. Upon doing this, it's going to cycle power on the machine and set the profile up for weld memory one. Now that the weld score profile has been saved, I'm going to go back in the configuration menu and customize how I want the machine to respond if a weld score drops below a limit that I deem acceptable. So going into configuration tab, I'm going to go to outer limit actions. And I can set up whether I want to, the event to be logged, to lock the machine, or send an email based on the information that the power supply sees. You can also go in your profile tab and customize how much of the weld you don't want the score to analyze. So for instance, I can set my start time delay and my arc end delay so that the first part of the weld and the end part of that weld are not tied to that weld score profile. I've also set up the user preference to show weld score upon welding, so while I'm welding, it's going to give me the score in real time and the average score upon completing the weld. So what I'm going to do is set up some welding again, demonstrate how this looks on the user interface. WeldScore is a free tool that's available on all S-Series PowerWave machines. This tool is a great help in helping quality control systems by setting up profiles and verifying that welds were made according to those profiles. This can be used in a variety of applications from robotic to semi-automatic applications. Essentially anywhere you need to verify that the weld was done according to plan. For more information on WeldScore or the PowerWave platform in general, you can go to LincolnElectric.com. Mm -hmm.